the bottom of the door, I'm gonna take a piece of wood and a floor jack and just support the door, just very carefully. Not put too much weight on it, but just have the door so it's supported. What you want is the door not completely open, but not completely closed, right in the middle there. And if you take a 13 millimeter socket and a ratchet, you can get to the two bolts on the back side. Loosen those up. You obviously want to be careful with your fingers. You don't want to get anything caught. You can access both of those somewhat difficult bolts to get. Take those both out. With the door supported, I'm gonna take the two 10 millimeter bolts out that are right here before we take those other two out. Just use a 10 millimeter socket. Now we can take the other two bolts out. Use a 13 millimeter socket. And use an extension. Take this last bolt out right here. Same 13 millimeter socket. And just be careful of the paint of the door. You might have to close the door slightly. Now the hinge is disconnected. And you might have to raise up on the jack just slightly. And you can slide this right down just like that. Very carefully, you wanna put this in a vise um, to install it the way we removed the old one. We want this part of the hinge to be over here and the spring will be compressed. Um, do not grab this with your hands. You don't want to squish your fingers or anything. Be very careful. You want to use a pry bar or a couple pry bars and pry this out. If you have one of those spring compressors that are specifically made for this, the door spring compressors, use that. That would be ideal. But if you don't, just do it this way. Just be careful. Just like that. And then you want to go one more tier over. Just like that. And you can slide this back up. Just like the other one came out. When you slide it in position, it's easiest to take the 10 millimeter bolts and attach it to the door first. Started. Then you can adjust the door panel a little bit to try to get the others to line up. And if you have to adjust the jack, you can adjust the jack. Get this one started. This one as well. You can lower the floor jack a little bit now. You're going to have to make adjustments. Just going to snug these up kind of loose. And then tighten the 10 millimeter down as well. These two bolts, you can snug those down tight because those are not your adjustment. That's good. I just want this snug, not too tight. Leave that kind of loose in that one. Now very carefully start to close the door. Just make sure the gap looks okay over here. 
a little bit tight up top, but that's okay. And so this needs to be adjusted a little bit. So we're gonna go up a little bit. So grab the door, just try to pry up. I gotta snug that up a little more. So make sure that it looks like it's closing good if you have to hang on the door a little bit or pry the door up. See how it's shaking a little bit. I just want it a little closer. That's looking real good. It's not shaking at all. So that's where we want to tighten that down. And tighten this bolt as well. And double check. Looks good. So now you can put those other two bolts in. So again, about halfway closed. You can put those other bolts in and get them. Just be careful. Don't get your fingers caught. And just go back and make sure you tighten all the bolts down. Just snug them down real tight. 